Everyone and we're back with Papyrus, Adabel, and Finbic by the Hydra. So my hair has to look like shit. Okay. So we're back. We're back. Uh, I'm gonna talk to the main party right now. What do you guys want to do? Oh, you just shucks. We just left you as Pyrus poofed. He's gone. Oh no, he didn't I, take me with him. I really don't think any more of us should drink that because assuming, and this is just what I'm assuming, it's, it's, it's just killing them. Like, they're dead. Uh, Why isn't there a dead body then? Because it didn't kill them by just like it's it, clearly it's not poisonous. <laughs> we should find someone who's a more point. adept at identifying the nature of this uh, substance, this magical essence. Who, the only person who was know? had no idea. What about the the holy woman back at far? Anne, fucking Anne, I hate oh. her. Huh? Yeah, I have good. a yeah. I, I have talk. a note. Fuck Anne. That's ambiguous. Like, how are you using the word fuck there? <laughs> Sorry, I just had to. I don't know. Still wrote it down. So you guys want to go back to Anne? I don't know. Just an idea. That's such a long walk. Yeah, it's pretty yeah. far away. There was a dragon on that way, too. We passed the dragon to get to where we are. That's true. Oh, I was not there for this. So we would have to pass the dragon again. Maybe. Potentially. Who knows? And considering our diminished party, I, I, you know... Yeah, there's just five of you now. Wait, wait, wait. Maybe they're all fine. We did back clear the way yes. there, but that's not necessarily going to be good. Maybe they're just invisible. And Scylla goes and touches the area. Mm -hmm. So you're doing an investigation check? <laughs> Roll. <GCT. laughs> Roll for What's your investigation? Investigation. Here in front of you, invisible. investigation. Um, plus um, four. Plus four. So... Just describe to me how you're doing this in the room. Oh, well, I was holding hands with uh, Pyrus, so I'm just touching the area that Pyrus is supposed to be and reaching up in case he flew oh. up mm -hmm. or down. Yeah, you really, area. you really walk don't. around a little bit. <laughs> you you look around for like f a solid five minutes. You're like touching the walls and everything you could think of, but you don't come into contact with anything. He's a ghost. Walk through him, that's why. You've heard it here first. Scylla thinks he's a ghost. <laughs> yeah, you heard it here first. I don't know if I agree with what she's saying, but the sentiment that they're dead, you know, honestly, I think it's definitely... Oh, I didn't say they're dead. How are they, like, like, see whether they bad, basically? It's if the I... <laughs> Isn't that, like, your, like, one purpose to communicate with dead people? If they like, don't... single... Okay, yes. <laughs> Let's solve this once really and for demeaning. all. I, ca <laughs> I cast Spirit Sense to see what died in the area recently. How recent is it? Uh... It's really into your expression. It's been it's been all over the place, so No, it's true. Um There's a dead rabbit. So you cast this ability. Give me like, I don't know. I I've got it in my mind. You can sense that a lot of people have died here. Uh pretty gruesome <laughs> deaths. Some have been electrocuted, some have had their heads chopped off. Yeah, hey. Um Pizza. But you can get the general a foot was definitely cut off at some point. But you get the general sense that nothing has died here recently. Um, huh. Okay, so a, a lot of a lot of things have died here, but it seems as if Pyrus and Finvik are not among them. Mm -hmm. Aha! Thank you for looking into that. <laughs> so, I'm gonna let pause for a second. Switch sheen to Pyrus. What do I see? So you see the church. You're at the top of the church. The bell. You have your hand on the bell. And there's stones about. Um, off to your left, you can see the forest as it goes over the horizon. The keep where Ed resides, and looking off straight into the distance, you can see the path you guys took uh, along the wall. Ooh. So, I'm, I guess I know where I am. Is it a pretty view? It's gorgeous. 
I you take, take a moment. Yeah. I, I take out my smoking supplies and I like I let, <laughs> I, 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 I let a little thing and I'm just like looking at the view like this is nice. And then like about like a couple minutes into that, I like look at the stones and put two and two together. I'm like, wait, shit! <laughs> <laughs> and I, I put my shit out and I like store all that away and I realize like, wait, this is the bell and I, I write it. That was awesome. Thank you that. So. Everyone, Finvik, the entire party, you guys all feel this vibration through you. What does the Hydra do? One second, guys. <laughs> Sorry. Guys, do you, you get <laughs> three. <laughs> how many times did you Sorry. bring it? It's Sorry. Three times. One, three times. two, three. So three pulses go through you, and something has changed about this land. Guys, I think we should get out of here. I, I, what was that? Sigmire, Ed, we what was it. that? There's no song, no sound. Oh, yeah. You got you. Sorry, you guys can totally hear oh, a bell. Oh, okay. You had that pulsing feeling, Finfin. Sigmire, is that the bell? You said you've heard it before. <sighs> that was definitely the bell. I don't know what could have caused it, but. What does no. it mean? What does it mean? That was definitely the bell. Well, no double rainbow. Well, guys, we can see the church if we go upstairs. So why don't we go upstairs and see what hit the bell? Sid Meier. Can I talk to you alone? Sure. <laughs> you want to actually talk to me alone? Yeah. Yeah. I'll, yeah. I'll be right back, guys. <laughs> Let's keep the dice chatter. And we're going back to you. Let's keep dice chatter to a minimum. It gets picked up by the way. Oh, sorry. No, it's like, I know you guys are fiddling does, around. Does, does that? No, if you have a felt container, it works. I've been, I've been spending this all day. He is leaving me in suspense something. That's why I made these boxes. They're lovely. I put the felt on the bottom, yeah. How'd you do that? Oh, it's just loads of boxes. <laughs> and I glue felt to them. Wait, what happened to the rest I of the box? Oh, the other side. I felt, yeah, felt them good. Yeah, I just glued them on. I, it's just like sticky felt from a... Oh, you monster. So artsy. Hey, I, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was, it was a fun project. D and D's. Uh, I, feel like you're trying, I feel like you're always trying to do a lot of like little side projects. Hey man, I gotta hey, keep my mind active. Time student. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so high that I play a lot of video games. Part-time <laughs> student. Oh yeah, I'm taking seven credits. It's pretty good. Seven credits. Oh, Yo, what up, six? <laughs> Yeah, no, I have class two days a week. It's pretty nice. What do you do the rest of the week? I was applying to jobs for a bit, but okay. right now I'm I taking it. But I'm taking it. So I'm done with that. Okay. Privately. Privately. Great. Private conversation is over. Okay. Back to Pirates. So, anything new happen? <sighs> um, what's your passive? Wait. Wisdom? Did you guys just walk it's out and 13. have a private conversation? Yes. Yes. I was downstairs answering the door. No, it was just... I know, but I wouldn't have been cool with what that... Sorry. Unfortunately, I tried to timing. overhear what they said. <laughs> Fair enough. Um... He whispered to his ears. Using my stealth check. Like, yeah. yeah. Don't say it. Okay. I'll just whisper it into your ear. We have the first whisper of okay. our campaign. Yeah, we've had some size. <laughs> <laughs> Bless you. Good job, Louis, covering it up. That's, that's Breeze right there, creating a distraction. I think it's real. Yeah, not very much. Um, are we on, are we um, on us or are we on us? Sorry, pirates. I hustle back. Um, yeah, sorry, what was your passive? 13. <laughs> LOL. You can hear very faint footsteps and they're getting louder coming up from behind me i'm assuming there's like a door at the top of this thing right so there's it's a, like a little like it's like a little ledge. Right? so you got right. you <laughs> are on a 10 foot platform yeah. oh my god i don't have any rope oh my god <laughs> <laughs> and it's got god damn, I left it the there's like a, it's open but there's four arches with a roof and the bell, bells wow. hanging from the top of the arches. There's a ladder be... on one side. Uh, so... Alright, I'm going to try and climb down the ladder. Okay, you're going to be climbing down the ladder. 
Okay, I'm gonna switch back to the party, and then I'm gonna go to Finnick. Guys, that was the bell, we heard it. Let's yeah. go upstairs so we can go see who rang the bell. Yeah. How did that even happen? Let's go. Let's go upstairs, let's, let's go. Let's run upstairs. Sigmar, yes. it's a Sigmar, joyous Sigmar. occasion. Aren't you yeah. excited? Not you really. You finally get to hear the bell ring again. I'll Maybe come. your daughter's alive. God damn it, I need mean, night cheer up. All right, mm. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Leave I'm, the way. I'm leading the way to go up and see. Okay, I'm coming with. So you guys, I go. stay downstairs. Get to the top of the stairs. Whoever came. Everyone, and what color is it? You're red. Yeah, he's red. You see something red near the bell. Whoa. It's fire. <laughs> <laughs> it's a sign. Like a red figure. Well. It's a flame monster! I can't really focus, I can't make it out. There appears to be a red person crawling down. What do you think the odds are? That's racist! Does anybody have like a spyglass or something? Uh, Can you make one for me? I'm not with you. you. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Or can I uh, just look really hard with my perception? (laughs) Switch real hard, you know? Yeah, exactly. (laughs) I start waving over like. like, uh, what if we, what, uh, from what you guys can see, the red figure is moving down the side of uh, the tower. Out of sight. No, you guys can still see it. I yell, Pyro! You can hear that. I look over and I wave. Hey. Oh, hey. So, like just to get this straight, you were holding the ladder with one hand and waving. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Thank you, sir. <laughs> <laughs> you can see a wave. Pyro! Oh, guys, that means they get teleported somewhere nearby. So, we should, we should probably wait, go to the church. Wait. I'd do that just long enough for that. Is Finvik with him? Are you sure? Maybe Finvik is too small. Is Finvik with you? Finvik's probably just too small. We just can't see him. He's also probably ahead. Oh, wait, I'm not. Pyro? That's true. I mean, I'm climbing down, trying to get away from the things that are going to try and attack me because they heard the bell ring. Yeah, we should probably get over there. Hey, well, hey guys, let's look at the map, right? So, so he's here. <laughs> yeah. we're here. We need to climb up. And, and did he say the mix here? No? How fast can we get there? It's our best bet. Yeah. How fast can we get there? Let's go. Oh, to get to the church from the keep, that's like two minutes sprint. No, we're. I'm off! <laughs> I follow Karama. Yeah, Karama's going! So, really, is you're still at the bottom? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm hanging out here. What? So the only people going to the church are DV, what, what? Karama, what Adam. Okay, I'll go with the other wood elves. Uh, I thought he was coming okay. back. Okay, you did not even know... know that they were talking to fire, so you were downstairs. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. I didn't know. Th- Wait, we don't know that there's anybody coming after him, is, do we? No, you we have know no that idea. That... Wait, we know they that they have hostages in that place. Just just clearly just no, they, they climbed the top to the top of the tower. Yeah, and got to the walkway, and they could see. A red figure. Yeah, and then I, I didn't see You anything. have not heard or yeah. seen that. But did they run out of the building? So they would have ran. They would have not run past. See, you. you're, oh, on okay. level. you're on the lower level. You're on the third here. level, the basement. Okay. I thought and there's two levels me. up. Yeah. They're two levels up. Okay, if they're not running past me, then no, I don't. I don't go with yeah. yeah. Okay, we're going to switch back to Finbik. Okay, first things first. I want to like try and reach back into my knowledge just from my days in college to see if I remember anything about Hydras, specifically like what they can see, if they're magic, how well they see, how smart they are. Mm-hmm. Okay, make a knowledge mm-hmm. check, please. Mm-hmm. What would that be? Would that be history? Um, Probably nature. Nature, maybe. Uh, is it nature? What are the choices? Uh, Arcana, history, nature, religion. Let's go nature. Nature, okay. That's a 20. That's a 20, not natural. Unnatural. Unnatural 20. Um, Looking back into the recesses of your mind, you remember Hydra, for one, are extremely dangerous and not something to mess around with. Yes, but do I remember if it's... I am... Sorry, I'm explaining. You also remember that cutting off their heads is a horrible, horrible idea. And that, you're pretty sure something, they could grow. Beyond that, you don't know anything else. Okay, next thing's next. How far am I from the cave, and how far am I from the hydra? 
The key, the cavern itself is 400 meters in length. Uh, from the mouth of the cavern to the edge of the wall is another 100 meters. So in feet, how far is that for me, approximately? If we could times three. three. Times three, so 400 times three. Okay. okay, and how far am I from the Hydra? Are you at the edge of the wall? Yeah. The Hydra is... 400 meters. Okay, and large. <laughs> it's Last on... It's... To give you, like, a very vague picture... You're here at the edge. Yeah. And it goes up to here, and the Hydra is over here against back against one of the walls okay and can i see any like type of path or trail past the hydra or just like any like more land that i would possibly be able to get to so looking off to your right bye you it's still water but then you see a little bit of land emerge okay about 200 meters away from the edge to my left maybe to your left is just the, the wall. It's just wall. So like packed this way is just wall? Yeah. Okay. Smiley then here's what... But like, what do I see on the land? How, does, do I see the land keep going or is it just a small patch of land? Looking down that way, you can... There's a little bit of sand, like a little beach. Yeah. And then it turns into a forest. You can see what looks like some sort of stone structure off to the left. And you can see... Uh, some cliffs off to the right. Okay. I am going Oh, and one other fact, sorry. Good. Uh, about half of the distance from you to the beach, there's a waterfall. Uh, there's a waterfall in the beach area? Or like in the Half of the distance oh. along this wall, half of the distance from you to the beach. Okay. Um, I'm going to cast... Minor illusion, thirty feet back. That's the length of its spell. Back closer to the cave to make the sound of like an animal. A sound illusion. Yeah, sound illusion. As soon as you do that, all of the heads of the hydra suddenly. No, it's at the sound. Sorry, keep going. I understand. You I'm said so you, you made a sound. Yeah, up here, thirty feet. Yeah, back that. Yeah, way. and I'm I'm up against the wall, being very quiet. Yes. So. All of a sudden, all of the heads of the Hydra wake up from their slumber. They were asleep? You said that one of them was looking around. Minus the one. Okay. Or the other four heads. Okay. And they all intently look towards the source of the sound. They look. They look. They begin walking towards the sound. Okay. Where are they now? <laughs> <laughs> this music. So I keep the sound... It's making a very slow pace. It's going to take approximately a minute to get to near Finvik. Okay, but 30 feet past that way, it's going that... I'm making the sound. It's going to be very loud and very, like, specifically 30 feet far past my way. Which direction? So back into the cavern? Back into the cavern. Towards the other wall? Towards back, the corner? Back into the cavern. Back into the cavern? Yes. You make another sound? Um, yeah, it's gonna be always in that area. It's, um, gonna be, like, back further where they are so that they can get past me all the way that way. Okay. Yeah, so this, the Hydra is gonna be, it gets up, it has four large legs. Um, three, uh, talons? No. Three large toes with, uh, like, like large nails claws? on them. Claws. Yeah, thank you. That's the word I was looking for. Claws. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> On its back, it's you change her. Mm? Sorry. <laughs> it's got a large tail. It's green, coloring different. Description doesn't matter right now. What? Point is, it's coming towards you. I remain very, very, very quiet, but I still have the thing making its thing. I'm up against the wall. I'm trying to like keep my body. So you're just gonna wait for it to get past you? Yes. Oh yeah. Casting a spell doesn't break her. Casting no, a concentration we, would break it, but this is not a concentration. My invisibility. We looked it up. Yeah, we, we checked on this. Ooh, ooh. Yeah, so the Hydra, it lumbers past. 
Um, and it does it. You're pressed against the wall. Yeah. One of the the claws is three feet from Finvic. I don't move. I stay very so It just keeps going. Oh okay. my god. <laughs> okay. Um, so it keeps going past me? Yeah. Um, I've got that spell going. Um, when it seems like it's going to run, I'm just going to keep it going. Then I'm going to... Once it's... Once it's... About... Once it's like a good distance past me, I'm going to try... Define a good distance. 20 feet. Okay. I'm going to try to very slowly, still on the side, sneak over. But here, let me... I want to get an idea of where the... The waterfall's here, the beach is here, and I'm like over on this side, okay? Mm-hmm. I'm going to try to very slowly, very carefully... This is a wall, right? Mm-hmm. So I'm going to very slowly try and... Like, I'm going to very carefully try and get on this wall. Go to that wall? Try. It's like past me that way now, right? Mm-hmm. I'm going to try... Wait, wait, no. First, where are all of its heads looking? They're all looking... Oh, three of them are looking in the cavern. Uh, the other two are kind of looking behind it. Okay, what does the wind make the water look like right now? The water is heading into the cavern. I'm gonna... How far am I from the waterfall? Close and how ahead. strong is this... How... Can I see how far... I'm gonna say it is 300 sure? meters from here, here to here. So the waterfall is 150 meters away. From me? Yeah. Okay, that's 450 feet. Um, and how... Um, can I see how deep... Does this look like a big waterfall? Does it look like a small waterfall? How strong is the force of the water in the waterfall? Uh, it's pretty strong. Then how it's, am I... Like, is the current pushing at all? The diameter like of the waterfall is 10 feet. It's coming from the top of the cliff. Wait, is the waterfall trickling down from where I am or onto where I am? You're here? Yeah. It's trickling in... It's going into the water. Oh, so there's no, like, cliff or anything. Like wall, waterfall. What I oh. no. What I'm saying is what I thought was that I was here and the waterfall is pouring that way. But what actually is, I'm here and the waterfall is pouring down onto there. Yes. Okay. Right, I understand what you're saying. That's. Throwing. I thought that there was like a cliff I could fall from. That's what I was trying to. Okay. And how? Pause. Back to the party. God damn it. <laughs> okay, guys. <laughs> you have <laughs> sprinted to the church's doors. Yeah. Two yeah. large. Can we put our figures. Even if it's in like arbitrary locations, just in like who's. Yeah, you guys should actually make a. Put in order. I'll draw. Yeah, look. Okay. You should just. Going this way. Sort of I don't you should know draw the. Is yeah. the eraser? Right there. Be on, on well, the eraser. Well, actually, I don't know if I've made it down at this point. Yeah. I will get. Oh, I'll say when you have done. Passes. In a second. Because it's happening concurrently. Yeah. So we have the. So remember when I initially described? So a couple of you guys weren't here. There's this like large stone patio. There's a tower. And there's some stairs to the yeah, two of the doors on the side of the church. Mm-hmm. That's where you guys have sprinted to. So wait, the tower and like the church is yeah. yeah. So you guys have sprinted some distance. And then you get two. There are the two large wooden doors. So, where am I? You have made it to the main roof of the church. So, there is one distinct building. No, that's the stone patio. Uh, There's like one distinct part of the building. And then there's this open roof. There's tons of gargoyle statues. I'll tell you that in a a second. And then there's, oh, sorry, no, sorry, rewind, rewind. You got to the end of the ladder, and you make your way down a staircase, and you see some prison cells. But I'll get back to that in a bit. So you guys are at the doors of the church. Yeah. yeah. So we, uh, no. we gotta get in. For Silla, for Sherry. Oh. Um, I think she's back. We're just back. Sherry. Okay. Hmm. All right. What do you guys want to do? Well, uh, Pyrus! What does this... Are you there? Yeah. You're there, buddy! You can't hear them at this point. Where, 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 what does this church look like? You guys could see 
Pyrus disappear into the building. Into the building? Oh. Sorry? Because we gotta what go does this again? place look like, this building? Oh, no, check the door yeah, let me give you a description. Um, yeah, so, DV, you wanna check the door so, for traps? Yeah. I guess we can both do it, but you have okay. the thieves tools. Yeah. See, Pyrus would go. Sherry would go. Radical. Clubby. I can watch when I go to talk to you. Okay, so here's the description on the outside, because DV asked for it. There's uh, tons of half stone pillars in the walls, so just like, if you can imagine that. Uh, in the tower that uh, Pyrus is at, it's large square that turns into a cylinder with a dome at the top where the bell is. Uh, there's the roof that connects the tower to another part of the church. And there, you guys can see four gargoyle statues uh, on platforms, cool. just on the edges of the church's roof. And where you guys are at are just those two wooden doors. Solid. Yeah, all, so all wooden doors? Check these doors for any trips. Trips? Trips and traps and... Keep on mm -hmm. look at and go, Hi, Hi, <laughs> I'll say it again. Nice. So who's looking? I'll look for traps. On the door? Yeah. You don't, you can't see any traps. Okay. Seems cool. I'll test the knob and stuff. If anyone has any objections. Nope. No, we gotta go. All right, is it open? You open the door, yeah. Cool. And inside you see, give cool. me a second. I'll just peek in a little bit. Yep. Just, just enough to see what's going on. But maybe not totally open yet. Give me, Split second. Just have to open up other stuff. Do, 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 do. Okay. So, which door did you open? Uh, the front. Uh, uh, There's left, the left, left or right. The front doors. Yeah. Okay. So, off to your right, because that's where you're peeking. You can see. Off to my. You, because the door left door is open. You'd be looking off to the right in the church. Left door. I'm looking out, out to the left. Wait, does it open in or out? It opens uh, out. Or in. Okay, then yeah, then cool. All right. It opens in. Yeah. Sorry. So you're looking off to the right. You see an altar. Uh, on the altar is... One second. I have to look up so many things. <laughs> Wait, switch to me and tell that. Um, not, not like right now, but like eventually. Yeah, I will. Uh, where is it? Guys, there's an altar. Okay, so on the altar, you can see a skeleton with an amulet draped around its neck. Uh, mostly everything else on it has like fallen apart or mm. is in disrepair. In front of the altar is uh, opening up this picture. Uh, old medium humanoid creature it ha it's ordained with this really intricate costume its helmet has six eyes three on each side in a vertical column so where is this thing jesus this is in front of the altar yeah uh it's just standing there i'm getting to it guys we're gonna have an altercation pretty soon I, it has a, a trident in its right hand and it's speaking some sort of tongue that you do not recognize. It's not dancing or anything? No, it's it's just speaking. No? Okay, good. Right. And that's all you can see. Alright, I turn back to Karama and Breeze. Uh, there is a six-eyed uh, person in there, and there's an altar with a skeleton and an amulet, and it seems pretty spooky. Well, we're gonna have to deal with it. So let's, let's charge in. Is there only one thing? That's what I saw. Yeah, we're charging in. Drop on it. A, a creepy guy. All right. You, we, we will ready action. Yeah. To run it. Yeah. Ah, bah, fuck. Yeah. And shoot stuff after you. You can engage. Okay, I could probably. You're an assassin. I could probably get a super sneaky <laughs> hit on it. Super sneaky. So, how far away was that again? It's uh, the door. Thirty feet back. If you took the straightest path okay. to it, perfect range. 
So I'm going to say, all right, um, I mean, this thing seems pretty evil. I think I don't really know. It's, it's like next to a skeleton thing, but I can't say for certain. You got to get to shoot first. Actually. Yeah, this is, we already know this to be an evil establishment. Let's, we're, we're going to. Do we? We know this yes. is an evil place. There's, there's oh like prisoners God. here. Sid Meier told us about it. There were captives being held, and I didn't see any captives. Well, yeah, well, why would they keep you them at the door? We could see the prisoners and then you'd get back to it. So I don't, I that don't, was for Pyrus. If you guys, if one of you wants to take the first shot, go ahead. I'll follow one of you guys. I'm not going to take the first All right. shot. I, 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 I just barge in. You barge in? Cool. I need to know that this thing I'm going to come back to you guys almost immediately. I just want to yeah. deal with Cerulius and... So, so, did you come upstairs? I did upstairs. a while and I went upstairs. I talked to Scylla and I'm like... Oh, still is arguing with herself. <laughs> we should go help! No, we shouldn't. They go, we almost died last go time. What? Go ahead and look. Okay, where's everyone else? Oh, um, they thought that, that that like fire demon thing on the church was Pyrus. I don't know what that means. So, <laughs> <laughs> they ran after it? After what? Oh, the, the the bell ringing. What? What? Okay, I, I heard the bell. I heard the bell. That I agree with you. But I don't know what you mean. What, like fire demon? Fire demon Pyrus? He was waving. The flames were flickering. Know, what are you saying? Wait, no, I just want to know where everyone else is. <laughs> they went to the church. And we what? should find a navigator there. Yeah, sure. Do you think we should go to the church with them? It doesn't really seem practical for... No, I don't think we should because last time we died. But we should because we should help them. But the thing is, maybe not necessarily helping them, but if we're alive, right? A group of five is much stronger than a group of two, especially when one of them is sane. Okay, if you guys are going to continue this conversation for a while, three. can you move off over there? I'm yeah. going to continue off. I need to finish the conversation elsewhere. Okay, uh, I'm going to go back to the combat, then I'm going to go Pyrus, then I'm going to go Fendic. Okay? Let's go. Let's so go. you guys barge in. Dude, we, we, Roll initiative. We get spread. I know. 24, motherfucker! You're going to have to give me a second. Wait, what? 24. So Breeze got 12. What'd you get, DV? 16. That's what I have here. And you got... 25! So someone will be taking the first shot. That's good. Don't you get more... Yeah, there's better things about it. You know, just maybe actually... No, no. This is purely out of me not knowing what this thing is. I'm not about to shoot anything. I am. Good. <laughs> you can be the tester, and then I won't feel as bad. Hmm? <laughs> Um, you know, feeling bad is a What does that mean in 5th edition? Does it mean no dex bonus AC still, or is it just advantage? I gotta fight it. Or is there, <laughs> is there a flat <laughs> tip? Uh, yeah, yeah, roll some d20. Let's see it. I have to make the call if this thing is prepared or not, or whatever. I don't know. This? Uh, <laughs> that. I'm having a great purpose. <laughs> And some of that. Okay. Okay, so let me place them in the room and give you guys some stuff to fight. Some stuff? This is like multiple objects, Adam. This is terrifying. I think we should go. No! That was me, not Finbic. Finbic did not do that in front of this Hydra. <laughs> Brilliant. That was pretty funny. Okay. Excuse me, Scylla and I have to fight this. So see Sorry so guys that we have this all spread out. Today's gonna go slow because we're all doing different things. I'm gonna put it here. A hippopotamus for you. Excuse you. And we're gonna <laughs> use some of the black. Mm. So you guys are in this room. Over here it goes somewhere. If we need that, I'll draw it. But hopefully, we don't. Let's go that way, guys. Something tells me there's loot. The church extent, the room extends also more <coughs> this way, and I can draw that if need be. Actually, I should just do that now. Can I? Okay. So, we have this nice room. Super pretty. That's the door you guys entered. That should be enough area, I think. 
The altar is up at front. There's a raised dais. Thank you for saying her. Dais. It's five feet up off the ground. Uh, the, ch- the the person with the trident is right here. And you guys break down the door. We no, we don't break down. It's open. You guys charge though. You yeah, fling the door open. open. Yes, the door is flinged open. This one's closed. And well, I think we go through both because you know you're like charging in. Okay, that's what I was asking. You guys have to break it open though. I didn't break it open. Supplies. And these are yeah. uh, church yeah. pews. That's pew, pew, pew. And on two of the pews, you get advantage here, but not us. Are two. Oh no. I wish I'd seen those guys. Do you guys remember the, the description of the knights from the undead prison? The, un, the uh-huh. ones that were sleeping in the beds? They're in plate armor. You can see their faces. That the skin is super tight. They have pink, like pinkish complexion. Bring it up. Ruby, ruby red uh, eyes. So they were in front of the door. No, they were sitting in the pews. So I did not see them. You did not see them. Okay, cool. Thank you. Because if I'd seen them, definitely would have taken a shot. Mm -hmm. Wait, I don't know how long this ordeal took. It's two minutes from where you guys are to them. Wait, yeah, so I don't know how long didn't see this took, person. But I'm so confused. Yeah, I mean, I he didn't... had he opened the door a creak, crack, a crack, and he could see that way. That's right. Like yeah, yeah, I didn't open the right door, so I guess. So, are you at the door here, still? So? Yeah, you guys. Yeah, that'll be, that'll be the way we do it. Sure. It's a good thing I'm in water because I am pissing myself. <laughs> All right. Uh, well, I think we should close the door. Please. Wait. Uh, not okay, Karama. Wait, but Karama's gonna shoot! You're two minutes away, dude. <laughs> that hits. Eight damage to Front Emic. I'm with the crossbow. Here, just to give you guys uh, a, a name for it. No, no, I, that, that's fine, that's fine. Eight damage, you said? Yes. It's okay, cool. What's your next move? You're over here. Okay. Uh, Alright, wait. This is, this is deceiving. This is a two minute sprint. Yeah. Here. Okay. Go, guys. Uh, close, close the door. <laughs> close, close that door in a sec. Uh, next up is DB. All right, taking a shot at that mother, and I get advantage against those guys who have not gone yet. Mm-hmm. So I will take a shot at the closest one to me with a babam. That's gonna be a 15 to hit. Mm-hmm. That. Just ricochets off their armor. Shadwango, and I go back, chill over here, and I'm like, yeah, okay. <laughs> well, Breeze. Um, <laughs> you've just seen two of your fellow party members take a pot on. shot in peace. Oh, I guess I know what I'm doing this round. Uh, I'm gonna. You didn't close the door. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Um, I'm gonna cast Scorching Ray. Okay, on which one? Uh, I'll start with one of this guy. Okay. I'm gonna call it Night 8. Okay, uh, that's just gonna hit. It's 16 plus 7. It so, is. 23. Okay. 6. 3 damage. Ooh. Yeah, yeah. So, like, you guys are. That fireball fell a week, I'm going first. You guys are wrecking around. this thing. These things. Uh, 18. On a so stone. Yeah. That hits. Seven. Cool. And I'll just put the back there one at him too. If he's not down, or like he's not. Fine right now. Yeah. Uh, 18 plus seven, so it's right. down. This is crossbow again. Yeah. Uh, nine. Nice. Yeah. So 
two of your crossbow bolts manage to... No, 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 scorching rays. Scorching rays. Scorching rays, thank you. Fucking fireballs. They... You can see them, like, get beneath the plate armor, the little crevices in between where they connect, and you can hear and smell flesh sear. Cool. Oh, sorry. Scorching ray doesn't do that, right? No, I clean fireballs. Fire. Do. That's what well, scorching ray Like, is. scorching ray is just like... Like, I'm... They're, like, beams of fire. It's a okay. ray that scorches, right? It yeah. scorches. You can smell flesh cooking. Nice. Another ray. Right. And I step back. I go... And close the doors. All right. Nice. And put myself right about here. I'm chill with it. And yo, yeah. squad. <laughs> What's up, squad? Ready, squad? I'm ready. I'm fucking ready. I'm, I'm okay, in. So you guys finish that round. Yeah. Rory, I'm gonna go back to you. I would not like to spend a lot of time on what's gonna. So you see four prisoners. Uh, a woman with her child, like a baby. Oh my god, what the hell? Uh, <laughs> a it's small... A, a small gnome. And... God damn it. Uh, a human in uh, what looks like brass armor. Or some it's sort of... Armor. That brass color. This is what we like to... Some uh, sort of bullshit. Three cells. Oh, yeah, like so to zip. welcome our guest player cells. onto the show. <laughs> <laughs> We could totally, I, if you want, if you think you'd be talking to them, we're gonna have to push your stuff back. All right, let's just say for now that I'm gonna try and just, well, their cells are locked, right? Yes. I'm gonna try and pick the locks off all the cells. Okay, uh, make three strength uh, Check. checks. With <laughs> maybe, that's a um, 10. Okay. It's hard. That one. <laughs> There's Pyrus. Roll that one again. You end up blocking yourself, and that's a lot. <laughs> 28. Okay, no, you sorry, 20. break the lock off of the first and third cell. So, of the woman and her child, <laughs> the lock breaks, and uh, what kind of woman? Well, that human gnome woman. gets to stay in the rack. And I try, I'm the one that. Yeah, but the gnome is still stuck. The one that so. didn't break, I'm just like, oh well, shit, they can try it again. <laughs> <laughs> so now you hit this lock twice. It's looking weaker, but it's still it's still yeah, hanging on. <laughs> and the lock shatters. <laughs> Alright, I'll talk to you guys later. Now. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. They they all say thank you in some other words, but not as important right now. As these other things that are about to happen in an alternate timeline. Well the same timeline. Yeah, at this point, you can hear faintly the sounds of, like, combat. It's How faintly? You can hear- it's, it's like audible, but it's a, it's still a bit of a distance. There's away. combat! Kind of like starting my way towards, like, what I think I hear. Mm -hmm. So there's, uh, you're at the base of that tower that I mentioned. There's an open archway. Through the archway, it leads to that roof with the gargoyles I mentioned. Okay. So on your left side, there are four gargoyle statues. On. So there's what? the roof ends, and then there's a little <laughs> platforms for the gargoyles. And then on the right side, there are three gargoyles, but four spots. The gargoyle statue. There's one missing. The uh, the platform closest to you. There's no gargoyle. But on the other side of the roof, you can see a doorway to the next building. Alright, I say to the prisoners, like, no time to talk, I'm gonna get you out of here. And I just say, follow me. And I start running towards that way. Okay, cool. You, you run across the roof and all of the prisoners follow you. Okay. The baby runs too. Hey, keep going. Alright, so now I'm... You've made it to the other side of the roof. Okay. And there's like an archway. It's just an open doorway. Open door. All right, I'm gonna go through what I say. Uh, there's a staircase going down to the big, the bottom of this building. Is, is the fighting sounds getting louder? Is that right? Yeah, as you've been getting closer and closer, the fighting sounds right. getting louder. I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna um, continue, but more cautiously. Like I'm gonna be going more like half speed and like looking around and making sure I don't get snuck up on. Okay. Um. 
We're gonna keep going with you for a little bit more. <laughs> the timelines I'm gonna. Yeah. He's yeah, probably I, gonna I, come I, in. I figured what you're doing. He's yeah. probably gonna come in in a few rounds in yours. Keep going. So, you're so, being cautious. Going, being cautious, going down the stairs. What happens? So yeah, the, the <laughs> combat sounds are getting really, really loud. Okay, I. Like. And you, I'm gonna point to where you emerge from the staircase, All right. and then I'm gonna switch off from you. Okay. okay. You're gonna be right over here. There's a staircase that leads to this area. I will not describe what happens here because I haven't resolved them yet. Okay. okay? But that's so, where you're gonna be coming. So I'm there. Yeah. Then big. Okay. Um. So they're like a good while. Where are they at this point? Where's the Hydra? The Hydra is in the cavern. Uh, two of the heads are still looking back towards where it is. Are either of them looking like at me or near me, really? They're just, they're just, their gaze is constantly shifting. Okay. So sometimes. And I'm like just... right at the edge of this, right? I'm gonna try to very carefully, very stealthily get on this side so that they can't like see past me. Because they're deep enough in that they can't see like this, right? I would assume. Like, could I assume that? Yeah, I'm gonna do a stealth check for you. Okay, my stealth is plus one. So, you you try your darndest. Oh wait, from what we were talking about earlier, because when you've been taking, you would have been taking your time. Yes, I would have been taking my time. Let me roll that again. Much better roll. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, you go really slowly. You make sure not to disturb the water very much, and you get to the other side. So I'm. Where's my? Where's the So I'm like here. Yeah. And. That thing can't is in like here, so it can't like peer its head. Like can't see. Its heads are pretty long, um, but not long, <laughs> not long, not long enough to peek around. But it's only twenty feet from the edge of the cavern, so it only needs to be another ten feet before a head can see. Okay, I'm gonna be moving slowly near to the waterfall, still stealthy. But here's the thing: I have a question. When I get closer to the waterfall, I'm gonna have a question about how loud is this waterfall? I'm gonna have trouble describing that. Um, but I'm gonna need. I know. But that's very important to what I'm gonna do. You would be able to go at a faster speed near the waterfall without it being heard. And also, in terms of pressure, the pressure of this waterfall. Are there like areas like around, like just like the peripheral area that this water is falling, where like the water is being disrupted, but it's not like massive amounts of water falling down that would like you know kill someone. The yes. Waterfall. Then I'm gonna be stealthing over to the waterfall area. I'm gonna stay in the periphery area where like the water's being disruptive, so it just looks like, you know, waterfall disruption. As close as I can get without being in an area where I'm pretty sure I could actually like get hit by a heavy like thing of water. Okay. I understand why you asked that question. Yep. You okay. get over there. I get over there? Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm while I'm doing this, I keep I keep looking my head over just to see if the hydra's coming back because the hydra At this point, the hydra's made its way halfway back to its original position. To its original position? Yeah. Okay. Against the cavern, against the wall. Okay. Um, what are the... F but, like, is it still back here, though? No, it's, it's like, somewhere over here. Half... It's making its way back here. Its heads are scanning the entire area. Okay. Um... And where am I, like, in terms of... In relation to this hydra? Uh, the distance between this wall and this wall is 150 meters. Okay. And so I'm in the waterfall now, like near the waterfall, that's where I'm at? You're on the Perfect. right side of the waterfall if you were facing the waterfall. Does that mean closer to where I was or closer to the beach? Closer to where you were. Darn. Okay, so I'm gonna still like, once I get, I'm gonna keep stealthing through like the disrupted water. And again, like keeping on the edge until I feel like I can get into like the disrupted water without making my like so water pounds over your head you're shaking with fear the hydra's scanning in the valley looking for the source of the sound of you me? emerge on the, the other side vision. of the waterfall uh you see a rusted ladder leading up the cliff side the beach is much so closer. wait i look at this does this ladder look steady and what does it look like it's leading to does it look steady? Does it look like if I tried to climb it, it would break? Sturdy. Sturdy. Sturdy, Sturdy is the better word. Is the uh, actual word. It looks to be pretty firmly 
built into the cliff side. Does it look slippery in terms of like a lot of the ladder has been is constantly splashed with water. How high is this ladder? Does it go to? It the leads cliff? up the cliff. And how high is this cliff? No. Um, hundred fifty meters. So. We're gonna switch back to yeah. the fight soon. Uh, I just want to hear one second. Are you gonna do anything with the ladder, or are you gonna want to continue going to the beach? I'm going to continue going to the beach. Okay, right, we're gonna switch back. We'll go to you guys, and then we'll go back to the combat. So we okay, decided. So Scylla runs down the stairs. Sigmire, we have to go now. We've decided. We're going to find your daughter. My daughter? Yeah, we're gonna where go get she? her. We we know where she is. Come with uh, us. Deception check. <laughs> we told us where Sigmire. Sigmire. Uh, plus two. Fifteen. Fifteen. Oh golly gee, you know where my daughter is? Let's go, let's go, it's time to go! We've decided it's in our best interests if the group of the six of us stick together as opposed to us being split. Especially when we're finding his daughter. Yeah. So... Let's go! <laughs> let's go! Okay, so you guys are gonna sp sprint over. Grab Sigmire and we're going. And this happened like... Before they started combat, so like... You guys are two minutes out. Well, That's not necessarily, point. because you also didn't know what was going on, and so we did a bunch of things happening. So we did a lot of things happening. I'll deal with your arrival later. Back to combat! Yay! Oh, well, hey there! Oh, hey, combat! So now it's normal, everyone's initiative. Yeah. So I still go first? No. Hi. Uh, Knight A, the one closest, is gonna push open both the doors. So here's fine? Or pull open both the doors. Yeah, so both doors are now open. Okay. Uh, sorry, sir, uh, the is it's, it's right over there. Oh. And... And where are you guys positioned? You're positioned in there. So, it's just gonna run up to Breeze. It's gonna unsheath the great sword on its side and take a player. swing. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Wait for Wait. it. Wait for it. Now. Flash of light. And your... Yeah, okay, so that it's misses. Nice. And then it's going to take another swing at you. So the oh, first swing was from your right shoulder okay. down to your hip. This one's going to be from your left shoulder down to your hip. Gio. Opposite hip. Rick. <laughs> Okay. I misrolled that. Okay. And both the swings just they hit air. Yeah, the sprint yeah, over to you. It just <laughs> wasn't enough time for this this creature to prepare. Creature. Karama. So oh, the knight is right Oh, here. it's on. I'm gonna step up. Gonna use uh one of my key points. Mm -hmm. Oh actually first I guess I'm just gonna attack. First I'm gonna attack. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna move here. Then I'm gonna attack with my my bear. That's, that's all I got, man. Bear. Flanking. <laughs> that's still only uh, thirteen. No. And what were you doing? Just fists? Yeah. You hit the armor, but. Not in any way that would yeah, well, be I'm damaging. Using my, I'm using my uh, key point to use a flurry of blows mm -hmm. and attack it twice more. Here's Ooh. my first one. That's one, that's one. They would have a. Uh, I will also sneak attacking, so we double. You go for the double knife. Jesus. So, 8, 10. 11, 18 damage. Yeah. For that one. Whoa. And then my. And then my third attack. Get him, get him. No. Yeah. Hey, 21. That's good. And then, uh. 6 damage. <laughs> you always take attack once per round. Yeah. Yeah. And so I'm gonna move back over here. So you. 
throw a bunch of fists out. Your first one doesn't really connect in a meaningful way. The second one, you can hear what sounds like the crunch of bone beneath the armor. What and the third one, the just you, you follow up in that same spot, trying to cause some extra damage. <laughs> we have a, we have a thing for a Okay, DV. Right. Yeah, I'm gonna do uh, the same old thing. Boink, <laughs> and take out the old crossbow diddly. <laughs> boink, boink. Boink, boink, boink. We're just, we're just like diving around. Uh, Boom. That's going to be an 18 to hit. Do you do like That's good. People and like rolling away. Yeah. 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 Just maybe. We've got... Oh. Uh, that's 12 damage. 12. Shot in the back. Shatoing. Shatoing. You heard it here, folks. It and disengage. The bolt right manages to go between uh, the piece of armor that connects the, the shoulder. The shoulder and the arm yeah. sticks right in there. That pauldron. Yeah. Oh, and you're done? Nice. Oh, so you moved out of the way, so yeah, that's an attack. No, oh, you no, just engaged. Engage. Engage okay. bonus action. Uh, you're getting excited. Freeze. Yeah, I see you. <laughs> I see you. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna swing at him. Whoa, Whoa guys. I should have stayed there right now. Millennia. But then I'm probably gonna play. Natural 20. Woo. Cool. Woo. I need some of that. Alright, I'm gonna rock the 8 or something. Okay, there we go. Uh, that's 9 plus 2, which is 11 damage. Funky song. 11? Funky song. Yeah. And that's with, uh, this. Luck. Tomorrow's luck, cool. So, yep, that's. Mm, okay. Is that your turn? Yep, yep. Yes, yeah, so you take a big swing. You managed to. Both you cut. You're facing the, from the front. Yeah. yeah, you just take a big swing at the legs, and it gets right between the the knee and the. Got it. Got the chink of his armor. Yeah. What did you call him? That's what it's called. It's called a chink of the armor. Uh, okay. Is anyone else here? Uh, gold helmet moves to so the doorway. The Can someone move gold helmet to the doorway? Sorry, what? No, no, you are, uh, anyone who's yeah. listening, can you put gold helmet to the doorway? What do you do? Yeah. It's a chink in the armor. Oh. Okay. Is it, what is what it's called? Um, I'm also Chinese in that one. Wait, actually? I have Chinese relatives. I'm not blood Chinese, but I have Chinese relatives. I'm counting that. Even you look I know really Chinese to me. Um, so, I need to borrow. I got disowned for marrying a Chinese woman. And we just recently like re-met them. They like live in Hawaii now. They're really nice, but apparently, just like my great grand uncle was a dick about him. Was like, nope, you can't marry this Asian woman. Yeah, Pimbic has a colored past. No, uh, yeah, that's <laughs> yeah, it. totally Pimbic's that. Checkered. Maybe. It's not just the human. Yeah, yeah, I think like, the worst kind. Okay, so <laughs> the dude with oh. the trident. Yo, shit. Is gonna cast oh, like gold hat? magic missile oh, at the that. darkness at Karama. That's some crap. That's some crap. Um, hey, that's some bullshit. So, it's a crap. Just dodge it. So, three magic missiles shoot out at you. And you take. Yeah. Nine damage. Mm. And in addition, after the the dude of the trident a, a third of Not too bad. shoots out his magic missiles, starts to do a crazy dance. The dude, trident's oh man, like shake, shaking it in the air, no, and you can see uh, some like red. The air around the trident starts to glow red. Yo, and, yo, 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 we gotta fuck him up. And around. The the knight in front of you, the air around him starts to glow red as well. Can I do a religion she... check to see if there's anything I recognize that's mm-hmm. happening? Yeah, good call. Seven. This is some foreign this ritual some that you've shit. never. This is yeah, this is some voodoo shit. Should I test it as well? We can fuck these. Uh, take sure. it up. I got no, plus, no, plus three. Three. Everyone's taking here. Uh, that's shit. What do we like to proselytize? Again, yeah. some voodoo like, shit. What's going on with Peter? <laughs> <laughs> like, how much am I hearing? I'm not even a voodoo. You, so, 
everything that's happening you can hear in greater intensity as you get closer. Cool. Okay. And I'm assuming you're, you know when you're going to bring me in. Yeah. Cool. And then next up is going to be the other knight going to sprint over to her. her. And Does it take... have more than a 30 foot movement speed? Because otherwise it'd have to do two, two actions to get there. Yes. Yeah. It's going to swing at Karama. It's great. I, I certainly don't approve of this. <laughs> <laughs> and your not great actors, sorry, sorry. 18 clubby. Yeah. So the first swing misses. This next one just gonna go for a broad stroke across your chest. He's and you get hit for uh, that one hits. E that trillion damage. I need some more dice. <laughs> <laughs> That always sounds good. Pass me. Oof. We got him. Where's the dice box? Oh. There. Well, oh, I'm right next to him. Yeah, 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 it's all good. You take 13 damage. Oh, A big blow hits you across the chest, and you take a second to catch your breath. Oh, dear. Um, okay. Karama, no, let's and do it. <laughs> let's fucking go. After that big swing, the knight. Oh, sorry. I said. What did I say? Damage wise? 13. 15. <laughs> oh, okay. Excuse me? Uh, I'm offended by that. for talking back. Uh, I need a piece of paper, though. That was, that was before I talked back. No, no, no. You did it in regards. <laughs> Excuse Excuse me. Me. That guy dancing. He doesn't look too good. We should kill him. Kill everybody here. Kill everyone here. Yeah. Okay, and <laughs> that knight that hit Karama is gonna yell this like guttural scream. I'm a dude. And that is the end of its turn. Oh man. Ah, ah, oh, good. Just heal me. I got this. <laughs> I'm really nervous right now. <laughs> Again, the Hydra does not like, go to the battle. Uh, we're gonna go back. We're staying in this combat for another couple rounds. Knight A is turn. So Knight A is gonna take a nice big swing at Breeze. I'm appalled. I can get some forward. The behavior's true. Yeah, miss it. Oh, one second. Don't know where the second one. Yeah, so that first swing misses. <laughs> Welcome to my And now it's going to take bizarre. another swing at you. I think so good. No, this is the. Um... Very well. Both swings miss. I'm good. Yeah. And it just. They both miss you, Louie. Same AC. It... Yeah, no. Then. Mine's, mine's nice and thick. It's going to. Can I see him? Sprint yeah, over. Bitch. Yeah. Let me splice that. Splice that. Yep. Oh, we both get attacks on him, right? Yep. Yeah, what? motherfucker. Special 20! Oh, oh, again! That's a nine. Nine. Only a 19. You both hit. That's 2 plus 2, which is 4, plus 2 is 6. 6 <laughs> damage. Two? 7 damage. Oh. <laughs> 6 plus 7, 13. Lame. This one. Shit. Lame low. So, as it tries to run away, you guys both were using your fists, or yeah, I only got the fists right now. And you were using the, the sword. sword. Yeah. Which one of you did more damage? By one. I mean, we so pretty much did the same. Right? Breeze oh. takes a swing, hits the back of this knight, and then Karama punches him <laughs> real hard. Gets pushed onto the ground a couple feet away. Slides. Shit. Blood slowly dripping out of the armor. Is it not moving? It's not moving. Yeah! Okay, next up is Grandma. Um. Hmm. Hmm. I'm going to attack him! Crazy. I believe in you. Um. I hope I go before trying to man. Alright, do, do you? I think I do. Well, I'm going to attack. That's only 15. Misses. With my, with my bonus action. The swing. I'm going to... Uh, 
I'll use uh, a key point to use the the dodge, the dodge. So yeah, disadvantage on the dodge. attack. Yes, cool. as a bonus cool. action. And you're done. <laughs> yes. All right. DV. Uh, the there's a guy yes. in in mail I have it. in in armor just like landed okay. next to me. Plate. And Plate. Book. Plate mail. Player's handbook. Uh, I want to know what this guy looks like. Okay. Is, does he look? I've seen dead people like him before. Head is down. All right, I pop one in his head just to make sure. You can hear the satisfying sound as the bolt enters satisfying the cranium of this. I'm satisfied. Creature. That was my. Uh, it's a robot. He has no regard for life. That was my uh, regular. Mm-hmm. Can, would you allow me to swap hands? I mean, no. I can take a bonus one with the crossbow. Like, with the same cross, one? Crossbow you have to expert. reload it. Crossbow expert doesn't just disregards reload. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. So I'll just stay where I am. I'm not able to like use a bonus. Like, this is my bonus action. I'll take a shot at the guy in the doorway. Okay. Right, right, because I can... Yes, you can see him. Yeah. Uh, I'll just do regular attack. Yeah, you can see him. Just regular, regular shot at the old... Dancing fool, and it's a 23 to hit. That definitely hits. And it is eight hit points of damage right to his six eyed face. Hit point. And I will move. Uh, I will walk. And then I also spit in that dude's face. I just want to do that. Good I'm just gonna get. I'm just gonna get on this side of uh, of him so that he can't get flanked, and we're like together a little bit better. Okay, okay. that's all. We're gonna go through one more full round. So it's uh, gold helmets. Um, the gold helmets. Okay. I need to see the player's handbook. You know what? Can I play um, clubby if I die? <laughs> Dis- oh, Adam, I'm sorry. Disregard the shot taken against the Chandler. Because I do need to have two crossbows. To do it? Oh. Yeah, I do okay. need to. So, yeah, negate that. Sorry about that. I just moved next to Breeze. I do do the shot in the guy who's in the ground, because I wasn't sure. Cool. Thank you for looking that up. No, I, yeah. Sorry about that. Oh. You gotta have two. Yeah. Gotta have two, just you. Um... Okay. I want to see this as like, I can just do it without the new standard action. Uh, the gold helmet gonna cast Ray of Frost oh. on Breeze. Can't oh, you do it. Oh. That's okay. Nada. Nada. <laughs> and you can still. Can't wait to heal next time. It's okay. You're a healer. You though. could always feel like you want to heal someone. And it does. I know I do. You definitely don't. Seven damage. <laughs> I wish I could. Alright, seven damage. And then gold helmet is gonna run, sprint into you, breeze, and attack with its trident. From which direction? Yeah. Oh, sorry. Ease. Okay. It's pretty small. It's a cash point. I was thinking of the other guy. And it's going to attack. Oh, action. Come on. It's a little bit of firepower. Plus. Constant uh, vigilance. Where's this? Okay. And <laughs> it hits. Concentrate the photon torpedoes at the air. And you take nine damage. What do you do to me? It charges with its trident in front and it just stabs you with it. <laughs> and that is the end of its turn. Said? From which one? The trident? Uh, that was nine. Nine? To be fair, you guys kind of broke into their place and then started shooting. Chroma. So. Okay. You're coming yeah, in at did. the end of this round. Chroma. Mm. Oh, I'm right. still so far away. Chroma? Wait. Wait, wait, wait. I've gone twice. Yeah, I saw him gone yet. Gone. You totally have skipped. Oh, yeah, sorry. I think that's good. 100%. Go. Slash this so, so this guy, guy where Yeah, sorry, sorry. Order sorry. Order. Disregard the last two damages. Alright, so I'm back at 30. 
Yeah, sorry. Your turn. All right. Um, unfortunately, th I was going to see if I could use Thermatology to close the doors on the wizard and then go and help this guy, but it's an action to do it, so. <laughs> it's going to open it up again. Okay, I'm going to... Uh, Heal me, baby. Yeah, pretty much. I don't know why I'm rolling d20 for that. I mean, d8. I uh, cast Cure Wounds. Oh, splitting a party. On uh, Karama? Four. Oh, dude, you got a total of like six health. Oh. I know. You yeah, it's not feeling pretty good, right? Feeling pretty, pretty uh, low there. Oh, 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 oh. 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 Damn it. Damn it. Mm. It's okay. Okay. Yeah. All this one has is. See what happens when the not with you? Breeze. Only has my soul um, like go. Tim Man. I guess. I'll stay where I'm waiting. I'm over here. Oh, John, please. No, we don't. Okay. Gonna do the last turn. I did. Again. I know. You're gonna cast it. Ray of Frost. Sorry, we'll talk about it later. Froggy Bell. Froggy Bell. And it deals five damage. Right. And then it's gonna sprint with the trident in front of it and attack. Then I, then I do, uh, what's it called? Yeah. Board of Blurk. Big cool. That is the sound. That's the sound it makes. That's the sound of the morning bell. That's the sound and of it gets. I'm so bad. It misses. Back to red. Okay. Now it's the other dude's turn. The other dude's gonna take a swing at Karama. And it has disadvantage because of uh the, yep. you did. Yeah, so that just misses. And is it on the is it for the full round? Or is it on the first attack? No, it's the whole round. The whole round? Okay, so it's gonna take another swing at you. And this one also misses. And that's the knight's turn. So now, now we're back to Karama. Your turn. Hardly sneak attack like this. You'll be in at the end of this round. Um, and then we're gonna switch focus. Disengage. That's the employee's handbook. Okay, you disengage. And I'm uh, gonna run. I'm going to run to, uh, to here. And get up. I don't feel so good still. <laughs> I feel gross. Mommy! Who's my best one? <laughs> Mommy, where are my hit points? It hurts inside. Okay. Is that your turn? Oh, uh, yeah. That's the turn, baby. DV? Okay. Uh, I am going to... Uh, I'm just looking up extra stuff on this. Load. Okay, we're in. So, what I'm gonna do is, uh, gonna go so I can see this guy. Yo, I'm gonna shoot him. Which dude? The guy gold who's helmet. right in front, the, the gold helmet man. Yep. And just a regular, regular old attack. And that's going to be 25 to hit. And, and that regular old attack hits. Sneak attack, because it's 5 feet from my uh, ally. And 11, 12, 
16 points of damage. I like this number. Cool. Where's this is Karama? a good number. Excuse me. That's 7, 12, yeah, 16, sorry. Yes. Yeah, so you hit the... Wait, did you move up here? I moved up a little bit. Yeah, so you could get the... Uh, yeah, so... so you can you, you no, shoot you it with the bolt. The one. bolt enters the armor uh, right below the chest. Damn. And as after you hit it, the guy suddenly disappears. Whoa. Yeah. That was a powerful shot. Reappears Seriously? right behind. Maybe not. Damn. Okay. I'm gonna... Well, I don't like that. Just... Step up next to him, so for me, <laughs> engage him! Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. I'll find him again. Hey, where do you think you're going? I'm like, I'm gonna try to corner him. Just... And when it reemerges, it's it's dancing again. Damn. Try it in, like, Damn. going around. Dancing! Dancing! DB, you're done? Gonna die. Yeah, I'm done. Freeze. Oh, Brett. Um, heal me, Mama. Mama, um, I hurt inside. I know. Uh, that's a nice tower. Is the handbook somewhere? Yeah, okay, I am using it right now. That is uh, 12 point hit points back. For kill light wounds at level 1. And then I can take another hit. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, one right there. Okay. And I, I don't have a minor action to attack, so. Your turn? You're done? Yeah. Okay, so the dude's waving his trident around. And suddenly, a monster appears. He must be the Hydra. He turns into what is it? Oh, it's the, it's a slime appears. A red slime. I'm not about this. I'm I'm being picked on right, right now. Right there. I don't. Period. I don't appreciate these bullies. <laughs> and it's gonna take its trident and just thrust it forward into DV. Well, it'll try. And it hits. Oh, well, it'll, 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 it'll succeed. It'll <laughs> DV, you take 9 damage. Alright. Oh, I, I can use uh, just another weapon as long as it's in my other hand. So, yeah. Got it. Alright, and then the other knight is gonna charge at DV with its great sword out. Oh no. And it hits. And it does. It does. I believe. 12 damage. Oh. It's gonna take another swing. Everyone's down around me. And it hits. And it hits. And DB goes down. It does 11 damage. Okay. You're unconscious. And okay. I'm looking really rough. Okay, it's still alive. 11 you said for the last one? Yes. 11. Okay. It's at this moment. Pyrus, uh, that you enter the bottom of the stairs. You can see through the doorway, and you saw this knight charging with its great sword above its head, looking like it's about to attack someone. Word. And I'm gonna blue ball you and switch the action to that. Oh. <laughs> as soon as Ori is 